So now we oh. have talked by Dan Dragovic, who will speak about non-locality of periodic and zeta strings. So please, half an hour. Uh, okay, thank you for introduction. Uh, I would like to thank uh, organizers for invitation to give a talk on uh, on uh, periodic and zeta strings. Uh, this is a very nice conference. I really enjoy it. Uh, I would li uh, like uh, to say that uh, I had some internet uh, connection problems. Maybe I will uh, have some problems during my, my talk, but I hope it will not be a problem. Okay. <clears throat> uh, uh, here is a plan of my talk. Uh, I will speak <clears throat> After uh, introduction, short, very short introduction, I'll speak about some basic properties of the periodic strings. Then uh, I will uh, talk about uh, effective field theory of periodic strings and uh, also about uh, possibly periodic matter, which uh, I just uh, obtained uh, uh, yeah, quite recently. Uh, uh, have in, in mind uh, this talk. And then I will speak about uh, uh, about Lagrangians uh, which can be constructed for the for the periodic uh, string sector, which I call uh, set of strings. And at the end uh, there will be some concluding remarks. Uh, there are really many uh, reasons uh, why we should study periodic strings. For example, uh, strings have a periodic valued world sheet. They are related uh, in many ways uh, to ordinary strings. They are also simpler than ordinary strings and they use often as a toy model for strings. And uh, there is um, exact Lagrangian for, uh, for open and closed strings. And uh, uh, these strings are nonlinear, uh, have nonlinear and non local dynamics. And in fact, uh, they have some non Archimedean, or in other words, uh, ultrametric structure. Uh, so, I will give <clears throat> a brief review of basic properties of periodic strings in the beginning, and then I will consider a model uh, with possible periodic matter in uh, Friedman, uh, Lemaitre, Robertson, Walker universe with Einstein, uh, Hilbert uh, gravity, and uh, then I will also present uh, some aspects of, uh, uh, of uh, for the periodic strings the sector uh, which uh, which are called here as a etc strings so uh, the question is uh, about the beginning of the periodic string theory how it was introduced let us recall uh, uh, what is uh, uh, standard crossing symmetric Veneziano amplitude, how uh, it is presented. It is presented by an integral, uh, which, can, which is uh, a Gelfand-Greib uh, beta function. Uh, this, is, uh, <clears throat> uh, this is integration over uh, whole real line. And uh, we have here x integration over this x. x <clears throat> is related to the real uh, numbers. And uh, this is absolute value, standard absolute value. A, B, and uh, C are related to the kinematical uh, variables. And their sum is equal to unity. So uh, we have integration here. And after uh, this integration, as a result, we obtain <clears throat> expression with the Riemann set of function, 
uh, in uh, symmetric uh, form with respect to A, uh, A, B, and C. So uh, how to introduce periodic uh, crossing symmetric Valencian amplitude? One can introduce it in the same way uh, using uh, the same form, integral form, for the Venetian amplitude. It is, you see here, presented here, we have <clears throat> integration over whole uh, cube P in our line, uh, periodic line. And uh, the difference is in X, that here X is not real, it is periodic. It is periodic variable and we have integration over this periodic variable. Uh, here, integration is even uh, <clears throat> simpler in some sense. And uh, after integration, one gets uh, this expression here, which is simpler than uh, theta functions. Uh, and it is also symmetric with respect to A, B, and the C. So uh, we have here that A, B, C is, is the same as in the real case, they are uh, real or complex uh, parameters. Uh, so uh, now the question is how we can uh, connect uh, these piatic strings with the real, uh, with the standard uh, cross symmetric uh, Valencian amplitude. One can see th um, that if we take uh, here product over uh, all primes, then we will obtain also theta function, but in inverse uh, <clears throat> form with respect to this one here and this one here. So the product of uh, uh, standard crossing symmetric Valenciano amplitude and all, uh, uh, all periodic uh, uh, this crossing uh, symmetric Valencian amplitude uh, will <clears throat> will be equal to some constant. Uh, one can uh, take that it is so equal to unity. So what does it mean? Uh, this means that uh, that we have uh, here uh, periodic amplitudes, uh, the same uh, footing uh, as uh, ordinary. Uh, amplitudes from one point of view. From the other point of view, one can say that we can present by this formula, we can present ordinary uh, Venetian amplitude as a product on universes of uh, the periodic amplitudes. And also we can look at this in the following way, that it is, that uh, this is a, uh, uh, a whole thing uh, which can be uh, called a delic string. And uh, that these uh, amplitudes here just uh, as uh, various uh, faces of the same of the same adelic string. Well, uh, what is uh, very important uh, that uh, that these amplitudes uh, for the periodic uh, string can be obtained for an effective, uh, an effective uh, <clears throat> uh, field theory, which Lagrangian is presented here. Uh, we have this place uh, <clears throat> uh, no local term, and here is uh, nonlinear. Term. P is again related to prime numbers, <clears throat> and uh, one can obtain uh, uh, not only four point scattering amplitudes, but also all higher uh, ones at the, three, at the three level. So, at the three level, this is an effective exact uh, scalar <clears throat> uh, uh, for the scalar field. Uh, effective Lagrangian. Uh, uh, now, uh, when we look at this uh, 
it uh, seems that uh, that this is written all in the real terms. Uh, we don't see uh, the first sight. We don't see something what is piadic. But uh, one can uh, one can uh, uh, rewritten this uh, uh, Lagrangian so that in this part here we can uh, take an integration over this variable u, which is piadic. So uh, again, we can see uh, here that we have uh, uh, that we have uh, that the wealth sheet is uh, is piadic. <clears throat> Uh, if we look at the potential, then potential has here this form here, or it can be presented at these two figures. Uh, the, uh, this one is uh, presented uh, <coughs> potential for two attic string, uh, and here for uh, or for other strings, uh, one can say or especially for the triadic uh, uh, string. Uh, what we see here, that we have one local uh, uh, minimum or a local maximum. Here we have one local minimum and two local maximums, which are uh, related to the, uh, when we look at the equation motion, then uh, they are related to this um, a trivial, a trivial solutions of this equation of motion. Uh, now, if we uh, use uh, this identity here, one can also obtain non-trivial solutions uh, to this equation of motion. Here are solutions uh, with respect to any uh, spatial direction here to the time, and then for uh, any space-time uh, point, one can uh, 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 use the product of these uh, these uh, functions here, the, the solutions, and uh, then one obtains uh, this uh, this solution here. <clears throat> uh, one can consider uh, the previous Lagrangian. Uh, with respect to any um, uh, natural number. And it also makes uh, sense. And even one can take uh, that P tends to uh, unity. And in such a case, one obtains such a Lagrangian from, such, from that Lagrangian, uh, this Lagrangian here, which is then related to the, to the string field. Uh, string field theory. Uh, now, uh, now I would like uh, to, uh, uh, to present uh, uh, a solution uh, for, uh, uh, for a field uh, uh, which uh, uh, which is uh, without tachyon and uh, without uh, <coughs> uh, ghost. Uh, to, yeah, to, uh, to avoid uh, tachyon, we can uh, consider transition from m square to minus m square, and do, we all consider in the here in uh, uh, dimension in four dimensional case. And uh, then we have Lagrangian, where we take now here this phi, <clears throat> uh, which is in this form here. It means we added here minus one, and here there is no minus, it's now plus. The corresponding uh, potential is in this form here. We have, in fact, this one minus here, yeah. And the equation of motion, uh, previous one had minus here, now it's plus. Yeah. So uh, if we look now at uh, for for the corresponding potentials, the, the potentials now are uh, 
just inverse with respect to this uh, line, which is relative to the phi. And so we have now uh, this, uh, this form potential. We have uh, in minus one and uh, plus one, uh, this uh, uh, minima. And uh, here there is also a minima, which is not stable, these are stable here. The, uh, yeah, this is equation uh, of motion, as I said, and uh, we have, uh, we had uh, again, yeah, the same, uh, these trivial, trivial solutions. Uh, now, uh, consider this uh, field five around the, uh, um, around the uh, minimum plus one. So to take five is equal, for example, one plus some field theta. Then equation of motion, uh, when uh, we have that theta is in is weak field, it means that is this strong, uh, in, a, in strong way, uh, less than uh, unity. Then we have uh, this <coughs> equation of motion, yeah? One here, one plus theta, plus theta to the power P. And uh, for the <coughs> weak, weak field, uh, weak this uh, field uh, uh, theta, uh, we have this equation uh, here, which is simpler than, than this one. So now we, uh, I want to explore uh, this theta phi in the <coughs> friedman lemaitre robertson walker metric with constant Hubble parameter and uh, the corresponding Klein-Gordon um, uh, equation for the, this theta will be uh, in this form we are here with the, this the Lambertian now, uh, which is presented, uh, uh, and the H is uh, Hubble parameter, which is con constant. Now suppose that uh, uh, a solution has this, or theta has this form uh, here, C to the power, uh, the, uh, uh, yeah, times E to the power lambda uh, T, then uh, the above this uh, klein gordon equation has solution in this part here. Uh, yeah, this is one of the solutions here, uh, where we take took uh, that the h is equal to m, or in other words, that uh, scale uh, factor is uh, 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 almost uh, yeah in in the same form as uh, this one here, just. Uh, the, the sign here is different. And one can easily uh, check that uh, uh, this uh, solution, uh, the, uh, this solution here, yeah, is also uh, a yeah, solution of this equation of motion, this one, yeah. Uh, now, uh, if we consider uh, the corresponding action uh, for the gravity, for the Einstein gravity, and uh, with uh, this, uh, the corresponding um, uh, field uh, theta. Uh, then uh, we have the, the following two uh, equations of motion. Uh, this one here and uh, the this uh, one which is already presented uh, for the theta field. Where uh, here we have this omega mu nu, the, that it has this form here, where this fn is in fact uh, a coefficient in the expansion of this, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this no local, uh, operator in analytic uh, in analytic form. <clears throat> uh, now, <clears throat> yeah, okay. Uh, now, in fact, uh, we have that these two terms uh, when we uh, use uh, this equation of motion for the theta. Then, in fact, 
uh, this is equal to this, uh, this term here. So we have uh, 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 subtraction of these two terms and what uh, is the rest is this one plus uh, minus this term here. Uh, and this is present uh, here. See, so since we have uh, symmetry uh, for this uh, equation here, it's, uh, uh, it's enough uh, to consider only uh, two, uh, two equations uh, which are independent. Uh, it's it's uh, <coughs> uh, trace of this equation here and the zero zero component. And after uh, computation, we get these two equations, this one and this one. So uh, <clears throat> we see that uh, <clears throat> if, we, if we put uh, here for R, uh, the scalar curvature, uh, this, uh, 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 this expression here, then uh, <clears throat> will have a, a connection between lambda and uh, this m square. And also, uh, if we uh, yeah, consider all uh, this uh, and uh, try to find, uh, to find solution, then we find the following solutions. Um, for theta, <coughs> uh, scalar field, uh, is uh, as in as uh, it is already said, yeah, and k is equal plus one. This is scale factor, and uh, one obtains uh, that uh, lambda is then related to the three m squ uh, m square, and uh, uh, we have also this uh, this connection uh, here. So we can say that we obtain this uh, uh, this solution here as um, some piadic, uh, 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 piadic um, uh, field for a new uh, for a new kind of, of matter uh, now uh, i would like uh, to say uh, a few words about uh, about uh, amplitudes uh, for the for the piadic string sector. Uh, let us recall that uh, we have this amplitude here for the piadic string and the corresponding Lagrangian is this one from, from which we can uh, obtain uh, this amplitude here. Now, uh, when we take uh, all uh, piadic string sector as a product of this amplitude, so we have uh, this one yeah, amplitude here and then now one can uh, ask a question, uh, is it possible to get some Lagrangian for, uh, uh, from which we could obtain uh, this amplitude here as we can obtain this Lagrangian here, amplitude, uh, uh, this one amplitude for the piatic string. So we are looking now for some possible Lagrangians for the piadic sector. <clears throat> uh, uh, in fact, uh, 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 such a Lagrangian should contain some Riemann zeta function. And uh, recall that uh, Riemann zeta function can be defined in these two ways, uh, this uh, which is in the product uh, form, one of the one minus P to minus S, uh, which is uh, Euler product uh, formula for the zeta function, zeta function, and this is in the form of the sum, one of the n, and n to the power s. So we will use this uh, these uh, two forms. Um, so we'll have a multiplicative and the additive approach to get the corresponding uh, Lagrangian uh, with the Riemann zeta function. Uh, now, uh, in the multiplicative approach, <clears throat> uh, we can start from the usual Lagrangian. 
and then we can rewritten it uh, in the following form here. Why in this form here? Because it is uh, now suitable that we can take uh, products in, uh, in these places here um, uh, over P to get uh, Riemann zeta function. So we have uh, products, yeah, and uh, product for the <clears throat> uh, con uh, the, this constant of the interaction, um, this uh, here and also this one. So, uh, and then we, we use uh, this product uh, formula yeah, for that set of function. Uh, then uh, one obtains a new Lagrangian, uh, which is of uh, this form one. Uh, where we have uh, one over set function of uh, this Dalambergian over two m squared minus one, and this and this one over one over set function in this form here, minus uh, phi, phi square uh, g of phi where g of phi is analytic continuation of the product of one minus phi to p minus one. And uh, okay, there are some properties of this. Uh, since I have no uh, much time, I will uh, go, uh, I, uh, uh, yeah, I will speed up my presentation. Uh, about three, five minutes. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, then the, the, the corresponding uh, equation of motion is uh, in this form here. And uh, for the weak <coughs> field approximation, uh, we'll uh, get this one. Yeah, it's present here. And uh, 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 action of uh, this uh, zeta function can be regarded uh, as a pseudo differential operator. Uh, mass spectrum uh, can be obtained from uh, this equation here. And uh, there are infinite many tachyon solutions, which are below the largest uh, one, which is minus 3.5 m squared. <clears throat> uh, here is uh, the corresponding potential. Now uh, one can look uh, also for the uh, corresponding Lagrangian uh, using uh, additive approach. So we have uh, some kind of decimation of the Lagrangians. And uh, uh, then we uh, then we uh, take. Uh, in uh, such case, that summation is over uh, uh, Mobius uh, function, where Mobius function is uh, defined uh, in this uh, way here, that for n, when uh, is proportion to p square is equal zero, when it is product of uh, different primes, it's minus one to the k, when we think, and uh, is one when for, for or n is equal. So when we take this sum here uh, uh, and use uh, uh, this uh, <clears throat> uh, definition for the zeta function in this form one, one over zeta function is sum of this uh, Mabius uh, arithmetic function over ns. Then uh, uh, one obtains uh, Lagrangian in this form here, where now this function f uh, phi is um, uh, analytic continuation of this sum here. And the, in this part here is uh, uh, the same as in the multiplicative approach. So uh, uh, what we have in the multiplicative approach and this uh, uh, additive approach, we see that the difference only is in this function g of f and f of phi. Uh, 
And uh, when we look at the expansion, we see that for the weak uh, field, uh, we have that uh, it is uh, the same. So um, these two Lagrangians, which we obtained, um, yeah, uh, describe the same uh, field in the weak field approximation. Um, one can use also another uh, example uh, using uh, uh, this uh, connection between theta function and uh, sums uh, one of the NS. In such case, one will obtain uh, Lagrangian in this form here, and one can also investigate uh, to obtain uh, potential and also equation of motion and so on. So uh, I would like to go to the conclusion. Um, we have periodic strings uh, which are non-local, non-linear, and non-Archimedean objects. And uh, in many ways, uh, they are related to the ordinary strings. Uh, I obtained also an example of the periodic matter. <clears throat> And uh, uh, also, I presented uh, some uh, Lagrangians uh, for the periodic string uh, sector. There are also some other. I presented only three of them, and uh, uh, which are with the Riemann zeta function. So they are called uh, zeta, uh, zeta, uh, zeta strings. Uh, from all this, it follows that there is sense to continue to investigate uh, uh, periodic uh, and zeta strings uh, as well as uh, uh, this periodic matter which is, which is present. Uh, here are some uh, um, uh, some uh, references which are related to the uh, to the zeta Riemann zeta function. There are a lot of other uh, 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 references uh, related to the periodic uh, to the periodic functions. And uh, thank you uh, for your attention. Yes, thank you very much, Branko. So, questions? Any questions? Any raised hands? Yes, there is a question from Carlos, so unmute yourself. And... Yes, so please. Okay, hello. Uh, thank you. First of all, thank you so much for, for your talk. Uh, my question is, uh, does it make sense to build a uh, Hamiltonian for periodic strings, Lagrangians? Uh, Hamiltonian, we did not consider it. Uh, I think that there are... Uh, serious problems uh, to get it. Uh, uh, we, uh, uh, yeah, I didn't consider it. Okay. And for, for no local theories, there is, there is any you know, established formalism to be the Hamiltonian formalism? Okay, yeah, we can do it, but it's, uh, I think it's uh, better to work, work, work with the Lagrangian. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay, well, since there are no other raised hands, uh, let's thank Branko again. Thank you very much. And let's come to the final 